you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere on the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over what you guys want to be doing the first day of Madden 21. Now, guys, here's the thing. When it comes to the first day of Madden 21, it all depends. It's really circumstantial to what you're going to be doing. So, there's the people who will be playing EA Access, and there's people who will be playing Madden 21 full, you know, worldwide launch. So, I'm going to kind of just differentiate as we go through how you want to handle this. Because if you're an EA Access guy, you're going to have to handle this very different than if you're a full day one guy. So, the thing with EA Access is... For most people, it's only going to be 10 hours. Now, there has been some glitches to get around it. Don't know if that'll be patched this year, but let's go with the base of 10 hours. So let's say you only get 10 hours. You really want to be very careful with your time. So here's the thing. Uh, but before we get into the video, guys, make sure you're below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell, boys. Come join the family. 13 days left, hopefully, until Madden 21 drops on EA Access. So, guys, the channel's going to be booming again pretty soon. At least we hope. So, guys, come join the family now. Be ready for the new release. And, guys, get back into this. So, here's the thing. With EA Access... In my opinion, the casual player and the competitive player want to play this differently. So for me, when I was younger, as a casual player, I like to divide my 10 hours up into as much time as possible. So if you're a casual guy that just wants to be able to enjoy Madden and kind of just not have to miss it all week, I recommend you play like two hours a day, you know, as much as you can. So the, I believe the 25th is the release of the MVP. So you have about like five days-ish, depending on when they actually drop you access. So you can play like two hours a day, get your fix in, play a friend or so. And then just have fun with it. Now, usually I don't like doing play a friend because that does take up a lot of time and you probably want to be more efficient on those first days, but it's up to you. Now, if you're a more competitive player or you're a YouTuber, you really got to get your grind going. So you'll probably kill those 10 hours. I mean, again, you got to save those as well, but I wouldn't divide those times into playing time. I divide that into video time and then leave the game. So for me, I won't be able to play Madden too much, probably those first few days, depending. I'll probably just be doing videos and hopping right back off because I really have to be doing that. Now, also guys, quick advice for you guys when you do open EA access. Whenever you go to use the bathroom or anything, close the game. It's counting no matter what you're doing. So like, let's say right now, you were like, Hoosh, what quarterback should I buy? You're thinking, take two pictures of the stats, close the game. Sit on your phone. Watch those pictures. Divide them, pick what you want. If you're texting or your girlfriend calls, your parents call, or you got to go out real quick, close the game. I cannot stress that enough. You can easily lose half your thing just sitting in menus. Don't waste time in menus. So there's two ways to go about this. So now, once you get into the game, if you're starting with EA Access, there won't be many packs for you to open, guys. It's pretty much going to be strictly solo challenges. If you really want to try seasons, I think the servers will be up for that. And then it'll be solo challenges, that, seasons, and pretty much opening pack like packs, whatever packs are in the store, whether or not they've got a gold jet or elite player packs, whatever they got going. Now, if you're starting day one of Madden 21, it's a little bit different. Because with this, you have to remember you will be getting all your pre-order packs. So when you get them, you're going to be getting a lot of nat elite players that you can, you can choose. You'll be getting a nat elite player. You'll be getting some training. You'll be getting some coins, hopefully. A few different things. The free Lamar. Now, here's my advice. Do not open up your pre-order free Elite Packs just yet. I recommend you skim through. You see what's available. Let's say there's a Demarcus Lawrence. A, and they're all going to be like 80 overalls. A Demarcus Lawrence, a Khalil Mack, a Odell, um, and Sean Watson. Let's just say a bunch of guys, right? Different positions. Probably one for each position. Do not take it. I cannot stress this enough as well. People do this. So, they'll take Demarcus. Let's say Demarcus Lawrence. They take him. He's an end. Let's just say for position sake, he's a left end. I'm pretty sure he's a left end. Then you go, like this year, guys, if you guys remember this, people did this last year. They took like a Demarcus Lawrence on end. Then they scroll up. They, okay, time to play some solo challenges. They go up to, let's see. Oh, God, this is going to be real deep in. If you guys don't remember, this one, the first, this is like the first big solo this year, NFL Epics. They go to NFL Epics, like, okay, cool. We Oh, we get two free players. We get Baker Mayfield and we get Deacon Jones. So now the issue here is, well, Deacon Jones is the right him. Let's just say if he was a left end too. Again, you get Deacon Jones like, oh, cool, I get a Deacon Jones. And you're like, wait, I just wasted my free pack on Demarcus Lawrence. So now you you get the Deacon Jones, you slot him in. Demarcus Lawrence was a wasted player, wasted pre order pack. Quick sell, doesn't go for much. So guys, my best advice for you guys, you can take the pack in about five minutes after the game, but come in first, go through all the solos, really skim through and be like, okay, so the NFL Epics gives me an end and a quarterback. The team of the week is a randomized pack, doesn't affect me. The Legends are uh, power-ups, doesn't affect me. Okay, the journey gives me a free Michael Thomas, don't take a wide receiver. The gauntlet may be out yet. The gauntlet's out. Um, All right, so I don't want that. Okay, the gauntlet gives me uh, four choice of players. And then there was the there was the um, the team players. I forgot what those things are called. The Juju Smith and Matt Ryan. Okay, there's Juju Smith, Matt Ryan, Tyron Matthew. Be like, all right, so I don't need that, that, or that. Okay, so I'll take a cornerback. 
A cornerback. Oh, it was Marshall Lattimore. So actually, no, it'll be a linebacker. So there you go. Your choice is now a basically Bobby Wagner, per se, if that if that is the case. So like I'm just my point here is guys, do not go ahead and use your pre-order packs until you are positive what you need. Because I'm telling you guys, nothing's worse than being oh cool my favorite player Odell's day and then it's like oh we get a free Michael Thomas and then the other thing gives me a free Julio or a basically they basically 80 Julio plus the journey Michael Thomas and then you pull Tyreek out of pack and it's like okay well this 80 card is never going to be used you want to really put it somewhere where you're not going to buy for a while like a defensive tackle or a position you're not going to have that's just my first advice second uh guys prices on the first day of the act are going to be significantly different than prices when the game drops so do not overreact to anything like if you pull that first Aaron Donald Guys, by all means, put it up for 700k, 600k, see if someone bites. But realistically, that card may sell for like 250, 300k. Now, it's weird. Last year, it was 250 in access, and then once the game dropped, it was 300k. So, it went up. But some other cards, like Julio, was 180, 200, and then he went down to like 150, or 250 down to 200. So, it really just depends as the game drops on what they drop. So, that first promo, like that first Legends week, they might drop some cards that, like, let's say that first Legends week, they drop a quarterback. That may instantly kill some of the values of quarterbacks. Plus, we get a free Lamar Jackson base elite. So, already, the value of quarterbacks are already down. So, do not over, do not over buy or over, over sell. You know, it's going to be tough. Like, we're going to have to really talk about this when the game actually drops. But definitely, for sure, do not overreact to anything you get that second. Sit back, look at the market, see what the trend is before you do anything. Again, you can take the risk. Like, I mean, if you see a guy going for above 300K, in my opinion, you probably just sell it. More than not, you're probably going to be getting a good value. But, like, you get tired. Let's say you pull that. You pull an Odell in like the first hour of the access. Oh my God, he goes for 110. I want the quick coins. But then once the game drops, maybe he goes to like 140 or vice versa. You get that first Ramsey. You sell him for 200. But when the game drops, he's 300 because he's the best cornerback. Because once all the people are really on and the market starts to like dry up a little bit, EA access isn't a buyer's market for the most part. That's probably that's kind of the issue here. People aren't gonna have that many coins. So they're going to be buying things for cheaper. There's going to be like a quarter of the players maybe even playing. Maybe not even that. A quarter of the actual Madden Ultimate Team players playing. So there's a much less demand. There's much less demand. But people are opening packs. So there's a supply. And m most people don't like to buy cars those first few days. They just want to grind, build up their coin stack, and see what they can work with. But guys, moving on from that. Once you're done with all that, guys. Once you have your, your pre-order packs taken and you know what you're getting. Now it's time to grind. Now, for many people, it's either going to be the solos or the max mutt level grind. Now, I think for the, the casual user, you want to go ahead and play your solos and do it at the same time. So go ahead and play every solo you can play. All the free rewards. Play the NFL Epics, the new Legend solos that will be out eventually, because by the end of the week, those should probably be there. Play the, um, I don't know how they're going to handle Team of the Week preseason level stuff. Go ahead and play the NFL Epics, the Journey, whatever's there, and level up. Then once you're done with all the solos, you're probably looking at around like level 30, level 25-ish, level 30. Those don't really level you up too much, because um, they're just not the best solos to be doing. And then you can go ahead and finish the last 20 solo levels, whatever they end up doing this year on a glitchy solo that gets you like double xp like usual now if you're a more competitive player i recommend you just grind out that level 50 real quick like that's what i'll be doing i'll get my solos done that i need to get done and then go grind at the levels i probably won't be doing every solo but that's because i need the video i need the max mutt level video i need the max mutt level legend pack i need all that stuff for videos also i'm gonna be playing online so i'm gonna need that legend as quickly as possible i'll probably spend the money on that pack some others might not so, again, if you're also not a money spender, the, mat, the mutt level grind, is it's going to be beneficial on the free coins, the training, and the free packs, but you're going to miss out on all the big packs anyways. So, in my opinion, get your solos done, get those easy coins, and then go ahead and do the max mutt level. But for me, and competitive guys, you probably want to get that done as quickly as possible. You get extra daily quick sell stuff. You get extra, what's it called? You get uh, the extra coins, the training, and, of course, you have those legend packs at the end, which cost money, but you could always sell it for a lot. If you're one of the first ones to sell it, you could probably, like, I remember, I think CC or someone sold that John Elway for, like, 400K last year, 450, right off the bat. But, guys, I mean, that pretty much wraps up what you should be doing the first week or the first few days, depending on when you start this. But, again, if you're the EA Access, guys, you can only have 10 hours. You really want to make your time count. Do not go ahead and waste your time. Like I said, maximum level grind will probably waste your time. I recommend you go ahead and get as many solos done as you can. Get all the grindy stuff. Like, I like to use EA Access to get all the grindy stuff out of the way. So, when the full games drop, I can, I can relax a little bit. I can go ahead and actually enjoy because when the full game drops, that's when like weekend league and everything starts. So I would recommend getting the grind done during the acts as much as possible. Try to relay your time out. I mean, nothing's worse than doing all 10 hours in that first day and then not having anything to do for four more days. Like, I mean, I know it sucks. There may be the glitch again. There may not be. Again, I'll, I'll, I'll touch on that as we get closer to the release date and we know more about that. But guys, that pretty much wraps it up. What you want to be like looking out for. I mean, there's not much else. It's it's solos. It's I mean, and pack openings for you. Are you if you guys are money spenders, if you guys are money spenders, I mean, 
you get open packs in EA Access, you get open packs in the game drops, it really doesn't change regardless because either way, you're going to pull what you pull. It's more of a matter of what you do with those cards, whether or not you sell them. So if you open up packs in EA Access, that's fine. But remember, there's not going to be a big bundle probably just yet. Like the Legend bundle typically drops after the game drops. So remember, if you spend your money on the Elite bundles or the All Pro bundles, whatever they have out, the Legend bundle probably won't be there until after the game drops. So in that case, if you're trying to pull, if you want to get the best value, the Legend bundle probably would be it. But again, the first week, sometimes those, those pro bundles are just fire because you just pull so many elites and you get so much coin value back for it. So it's really up to you guys. But guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notify bell, boys. Start watching this. Get ready. Take down your notes. Guys, Madden 21, super close, super excited, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I have a lot of updates to the channel coming, a lot of new thumbnail stuff, a lot of new quality stuff. Got to get that jersey framed in the background right over. Oh, my finger's inverted. There we go. Right there. But guys, that's about it. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.